Now, the outburst from the Chief Justice followed a 2.9 billion shillings budget cut that he says has crippled operations of the third arm of government. So Maraga now says the country is staring at a total paralysis in the courts if the decision is not reversed. And as Raquel Mugai now reports, the CJ now wants funds set aside for the judiciary to be deposited in the judiciary fund as required by law to avoid what he calls micromanaging by the executive. Ambassadors and the High Commissioner. With a trend of 2.9 billion shillings budget cut hanging over its head, the judiciary has in the last few days taken drastic measures to cope. But now the Chief Justice says it is about to get worse. An average of 400,000 cases are filed in our courts every year. With the manpower we have, we are only able, we are able to clear about 300,000 cases per year. In a 42-minute speech, the agitated CJ outlined the extent of the impact the budget cut would have on the judiciary. Out of the 2.89 billion shillings slashed from their 18.9 billion 2019-2020 financial year allocation, a total of 400 million had been set aside for ICT development in the judiciary. But with that gone too, the judiciary will no longer finalize on its e-filing system or even automate anti-corruption courts to speed the corruption cases at the Milimani law courts. Additionally, the setups of the electronic revenue collection as well as virtual courts for Kenyan diaspora litigants too will remain a pipe dream, according to the CJ. Operations of the mobile courts have been grounded to a halt. The Court of Appeal makes circuits to Mombasa, Nakuru, Eldoret, now that has been brought to a halt. Nearly because of the numbers in the Court of Appeal, we are not able to get a full court. So we are also not going to sit in, uh, in Nyeri. Last week, the National Assembly had dispelled fears that no supplementary budget had been tabled to necessitate the downward revision of the budget allocations. Budget, the judiciary insists, the cuts have already happened. In his statement, Honorable Duare, I was surprised, is reported to have said that the judiciary budget has not been cut and that we are playing politics. <laughs> I find that interesting. The judiciary doesn't play politics. And worst of all, we could not start playing I mean, uh, that game on a serious issue like this one. The judiciary's 18.9 billion shillings allocation is about 0.66% of the national budget. CJ Maraga, however, insists that the allocation, based on international recommendations, should not be less than 2.5% of the national budget. But even with the meagre allocations, Maraga says the disbursements are never done on time. Like in the last financial year, the supplementary budget that we were given, the IFMIS was opened a week to the close of the financial year. Fortunately, we had done quite uh, our, our paperwork and we were able to access quite a, I mean, a, a chunk of that money. But we were not able to exhaust it. So far, Parliament has already passed the Judiciary Fund regulations that require the National Treasury to deposit the judiciary share in that fund. This, Maraga hopes, will keep away any interference from the executive. But as it stands, the CJ is warning that the judiciary is struggling to keep its activities up and running. Rakel Mugai, Citizen TV.